scene with the help of the BBC's motor racing commentator, Murray Walker. <laughs> Well, Murray, thanks for coming to the Record Breaker Studios. Um, the essence of the sport, obviously, is speed. And Nigel Mansell, he's just done a very fast uh, race. Well, over the season, Roy, Nigel has been the quickest of them all, if you look at fastest laps. And this is the Österreich ring in Austria. Now, they're doing over 200 miles an hour on parts of that course. Indeed, over the one and a half hours of the Austrian Grand Prix, Nigel averaged over 145 miles an hour and that is incredibly quick you've got to have razor sharp reflexes you've got to have absolutely fantastic stamina because you're fighting the car every inch of the way but it's not just in the race that speed matters it is in the all-important pit stops as well here's Riccardo Patrese in the Brabham and the Brabham team is one of the top teams when it comes to changing tires and wheels quickly that was when they refueled as well now, Brabham are incredibly quick, and this season, the Ferrari team, too, have been one of the top teams of all. There's Michele Alboreto, that's in the Grand Prix this year, and he was amazingly quick indeed. The time was under, if I remember correctly, seven seconds, and that is fantastic. Well, there's no recorded time for the fastest ever wheel change, and certainly not indoors. But we have with us today, to try and set one, the Brabham BMW Formula One team. And the team manager, Herbie Blash. Herbie, come and join me. Now, tell us a bit about the car. Well, it's a current Formula One car. It's powered by a BMW turbocharged engine, which is one and a half litres, produces 900 horsepower for the race. The car weighs 540 kilos. It's made out of carbon fiber with all the latest technology from the aircraft industry. Is that to make it lighter? Yes, obviously as light as possible, mm. the quicker it is. How fast can the car go? The car, the car should be able to do 220 miles an hour on a quick circuit. Now, what past successes has Brabham had? 1966, Jack Brabham won with his own make of car, which I believe is the first and only time. 1967, Denny Holm, and 1981 and 83 with Nelson Piquet. Not bad, not a bad record. Now, how do you go about a wheel change? Well, wheel change consists of three people on each wheel, and it starts off with the pneumatic gun. Now, this gun goes into the center, takes off the wheel nut. The chap who stands here removes the wheel. The chap standing at the front replaces the wheel, and then the gun does it up again. Why is there a little hole in the front there? That's for actually for part of the pit stop. The car actually has built on board three air jacks. And the probe that goes in puts compressed air in, and that automatically lifts the car up with the jacks. They're actually built into the car. When, they, when it's OK, is that when they all stand up and That's go like that? <laughs> now, is this, all the, is this all the equipment that they use actually on the racetrack? Yes, this is exactly the same as you have in the pits during a Grand Prix. And how long does it normally take to do a wheel change in the Grand Prix? Well, normally we're happy between seven and eight seconds. And what are you hoping for today? Five and a half seconds. Five and a half? Well, oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, Roy? Sounds impossible. Well, as Murray's already told us, on the track, the wheel changes time from the moment the wheels stop to the moment they start up again. Obviously, the conditions here are very different. So, Murray, would you like to just explain what the rules are? Yep, they're very simple. The first thing is to make sure we've got a proper Grand Prix car. And I promise you, the Brabham is a proper Grand Prix car. Uh, the next thing is a maximum of 15 people on the crew, three on each wheel, the driver, the controller, and the man on the probe at the front. Then there's the timing, and here's the way that works. From the moment the sound starts, we start the digital clock, and that stops when the wheels land on the pressure pads. Mm. We have to make sure at the end of it all that the car is raceworthy, and to do that, we've got just the man. Thanks, Murray. To act as judge for today's record attempt, let's welcome from the RAC Motorsports Association, Neil Eason Gibson. Thanks, Neil. Well, well, together with the RAC, you've been associated with motor racing for a long time, haven't you? Yes, a long, long time. Yeah. What, what is the role of the RAC here? Well, it governs motorsport in the United Kingdom and also 
helps to govern what a sport worldwide. So you really do know what you're talking about? I hope so, yes. And you're going to act as our referee? I am, most Are you yes. happy enough with the way it's set up? I'm very happy. I'm very impressed with the rules that have been produced for it. Ideal. Good. Well, if you'd like to just take up your position as referee, Murray and I will watch and uh, we'll hand it all over to you, Cheryl. Right, you are then. Okay, lads, take up your positions. You're right in there, Charlie. <laughs> okay, when you hear this sound, it's your signal to start and the clock would automatically stop when the wheels touch the pressure pads on the ground. Okay, stand by. <laughs> Faster, really, than the eye can see. So, Murray, I think we ought to have another look at that in slow motion. What do you say? Okay, let's have another look. See, the nuts are off, the wheels are going on. On go the impact wrenches. The nuts are being done up again. Everybody's working to a split second schedule. They've done it beautifully. Up go the right, up go the left. There it is, 4.8 seconds. Incredible. Herbie, you satisfied with that? Yes, I must admit. Brilliant. Well, we have that wheel change from another angle, so let's have another look at that now. And for those of you who saw the nut roll away, here is the answer. There's one nut in the wheel that came off, there's another in the wheel that goes on. Wouldn't that absolutely That's it, yeah. Congratulations, well done, man. That's very well done, well. guys. So there you are, that's it. The fastest ever Grand Prix indoor wheel change, 4.8 seconds, right here in the Record Breaker Studio. Hey, hey, see you again. Bye-bye now. Bye.